Bonjour tout le monde, how are you doing today? Welcome back to A La Parisienne with me, Farah. Okay, so today I am doing an impromptu video and I was just filming some content and I wanted to update you on the second lockdown in Paris. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Hope you enjoy. So, I was just um, filming a pink related video. I have all my pink outfits there. I'm a fashion stylist and style consultant in Paris, living in Paris. And right now it is the first day of reconfinement, which is reconfinement or lockdown, second round of lockdown in Paris. So it started uh, yesterday night at midnight. So that was Thursday the 29th. Today is Friday the 30th and it is supposed to go on till December the 1st, so four weeks. But what last time showed us is that we never know. It's for an indefinite time in my mind. And so I am just preparing myself to um, be in this time and do the best I can. Like uh, I'm sure my fellow Frenchies are and everyone is having such, such different reactions to it. And yeah, and I hope um, wherever you are in the world and whatever restrictions you have in your country, you're doing okay. Because I know that um, not everyone has the same living situation, work situations, everything. And so my heart goes out to you and sending you so much love out there. Let's talk about so I will be sharing this from my knowledge because things are really not so clear um, and also my perspective, uh, me in my life. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get into this info. So what I, from what I understand, so we will have this lockdown and everything is like the same as before. It's strict. That means you're, you should not leave your home, um, your premises, unless you have an attestation, um, uh, which is like a paper uh, with specific reasons why you should leave. Right now, they've not come out with the electronic version, so we have to print it or write everything. Today, I took my boys to school and I did my first attestation in months and I was like oh here we go again <laughs> and um, well basically okay so the rules are um, everyone should try to work from home if companies can't like like they really can't like they have equipment or something in the company which you know the employees need okay you can you are allowed to go to work you have an attestation de travail which is for work and then there's attestation scolaire for children, um, univers like high school, university students. They all have to still go to school, primary as well. Um, there's a thing called crèche. It's for the tiny, tiny babies. Um, they also go to. They also go can go to the crèche. This is because, in my point of view, I think that the government is already closing all restaurants, all bars, all, you know, nightlife. And there's also um, a couvre-feu, couvre-feu, couvre it's hard to say this. And it's, it's also a curfew, which I believe is still in place. So basically we all have to be at home by either seven or nine. I'm really, kind of um, vague on this one. So yeah, don't don't quote me on that. But uh, things have been changing so quickly. Last week was the couvre feu uh, and it was just for like a week. And then suddenly we have a lockdown. So things moved quickly. Um, what I wanted to say, yes. So already we're sacrificing a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants. Shops are not allowed, restaurants and bars, um, discotheques, cinema, um, any place of entertainment is basically shut down. We, we are just not allowed to socialize. No more than six people at a place at a certain time. 
no private or public gatherings. If you have a reason to gather, you need to have like um, proper papers from the government, I believe, from what I read. Um, and yeah, so basically, yeah, none, none, none of that is allowed. Um, so since we're already sacrificing them, which is it's it sucks you know it's it sucks it's for the economy for the not the economy for the people first uh, and for the economy they still want to keep people working in order to keep people working children have to be at school and because they are uh, in such a ro low risk minority um, the high risk is obviously people with um, people with former conditions and everything. Although I know there's speculation about people having no underlying conditions getting COVID and everything like that. Okay, but I, I, I'm not an expert and I don't want to discuss that or touch upon that. What I know is that children are in the minority um, risk people. There's not a great mortality rate for children. So they and also like teens and stuff like that. So they've let children go to school so that parents can work. Like myself, I have two boys and right now they're at school. And uh, so that allows me to work from home. And I am obviously, I'm very, very fortunate that I already work from home. So it doesn't really affect my work life um, at all. But I know people who go to office and I know some of my friends who go to their office and they're really affected because um, they love their, you know, office environment, they need to work. I'm a bit of a hermit and I love, and also um, I love being home. I'm a homebody and I love being home. I love working from home. But what I will miss so much are like opportunities to well, first of all, go out, socialize a little bit because already I wasn't socializing that much this year. But sometimes, but also my shoots, my opportunities to create content out in Paris. And during this time, it's autumn right now. It is so beautiful. I don't know if, if this video will go out before the vlog that I'm going to post or yeah, but it is so beautiful right now oh my goodness and yeah so we're gonna miss autumn we're missing autumn in paris which i'm i'm not gonna lie it's a bummer because we miss spring but i also know that it's just the last weeks of autumn and we got the best parts so okay yeah i'll take i'll take it so anyway um that is my update about the situation in France. I just wanted to make a short video. So basically we are allowed to go to grocery, shopping, uh, all essentials, medical, if you have a disability and the person that you are with is allowed to go with you. Um, there are certain things like that. At the, uh, and school, school, university, going children, um, people. And um, yeah people who are going to work and also people who are traveling long distances to work have to have a attestation de travail which is work at a station as i said before so this is our situation in france we're in a second lockdown there's going to be a lot of content coming your way i'm also going to be doing stuff with this beautiful rack here because now that i have a rack thanks to my beautiful friend cheryl um, thank you, my love. And she, my my friend, did a um, a clean out. She recently moved, and she cleared out her her space. And I really, really liked it because she, instead of um, giving away her things to like a charity or um, selling them, she graciously gave her things away to her friends, and it benefits me so much. And I really wanted one of these so that I can make like. A real videos for you guys so since I'm home uh, and really just you know have to be home and stay put I will be creating content for you 
from that. So watch out for that. Subscribe down below and feel free, if you're new around here, check out my content. If you're a subscriber coming back, hello, mwah. How are you? Um, let me know in the comments how you're doing and I'm doing good. Thanks for watching this video and liking if you liked it. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Very soon. Bisous, bisous. Ciao guys.